Hi, I'm Gator Root, and today I'm going to be showing you how to apply a transition in Lightworks. So right here is the cut where I want to apply my transition. As you can see, it's not very smooth. It's just a jump cut. It jumps straight into the next clip. And I want to apply a transition so it's a little more seamless. So what you want to do is you want to go to the VFX tab up in the top center. Click on this plus symbol right here to add a new effect. Go to the Mix tab right here. And here are all the transitions that are available to you. I prefer Dissolve and Push as my go-to transitions, but you guys can experiment with all of these and see which one works best for your edit. Now click and drag it onto the timeline to apply it to the cut where you want the transition to be. Now if you play it back, you can see that it transitions in between both clips by dissolving, like so. If you wish for a shorter and quicker version of a transition, what you can do is take the playhead and drag it to where you want it to start and click this button here. This will set a marker at your current playhead's position. Drag the playhead to the other side of the cut and leave it there. If you see down here, you can see apply effect when the effect is selected. It says six frames. If I drag the playhead out one more frame, it'll update to seven frames. This way you can control how many frames the effect lasts for. If you hit apply effect, it will make a six frame dissolve. Take this and drag it over the clip. Now if you play it back, you can see it is a lot shorter. Personally, I think around 10 frames on average is a good size for a transition, but you can make it longer or shorter according to how it looks and feels in your edit. You can also make your own custom transitions if you use multiple effects together. And I say that you get a more professional look by doing this. So right here I use a 3D DVE, which allows me to move the frame and the image itself. I also combine it with a motion blur and a color correction that hue shifts it over time with keyframes. But that's for another video if you guys want to see more on that. So right here, if we play this back in real time, you will see it is a nice transition in between two different clips. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you gators later.